What's up guys, I fix shit in your face. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install a new scooter carburetor. This will pretty much apply for all 50 cc's and 150 cc's. All carbs are slightly different than the next, but most of the newer scooters are cookie cutter. Just like residential neighborhoods can be cookie cutter. Uh, a lot of the newer scooters are pretty much the same way. Even with the older scooters, they may have one extra vacuum drive or something like that, but for the most part, they're all about the same. So today, we're gonna be tearing this Wolf 50X down and um, <clears throat> we're gonna be popping a brand new carburetor in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So without further ado, let's get started. And please don't forget, uh, I make scooter content like this all the time for you guys. Uh, it really helps if you smash the like button, subscription button, push the bell for notifications, especially if you like working on scooters or you own one and you need some help. I'm the guy you can go to. I will show you how to fix anything and everything scooter related. If you're not subscribed, you'll never know. So let's get to it. Okay hey guys, I will do my best to not move this around the best I can. So here's the new one. Um, be, be, be paying attention when you purchase these. Some of them have really nice stuff like new fuel lines. This is your fuel runoff here that always goes off the bottom of the float. This is your fuel inlet right here on the side. And um, that's pretty much it, man. That's, that's about the gist of what these things do. This is your enricher, your electronic enricher. and. Uh, other than that, it's fairly simple. So we're gonna do this step by step, but you know, just when you're buying, try to pay attention the best you can and uh, make make good decisions when purchasing because you can find stuff with good deals like a fuel filters. You know, this one has one, but we're gonna be replacing that today. And a uh, good place to start is to loosen both of your clamps, front and rear. So the air filter box back here and the intake boot right here. And let's have some fun. By the way, having electrical tools really helps. This will speed up the process a lot. There we go. The easiest way to undo this is actually to let a little slack. So we're gonna push this down, right? We'll push that down with our finger, open the throttle up. That takes the pressure off it. If I have to, I'll go get a, a uh, screw, but this one might be a little stuck on there. There we go. Uh, well, this one's being a pain in my butt, isn't it? Come on off there. There we go. Got it loose. All right. You'll probably have to get a 14 to do that or a 10 or an 8, one of those. Really depends scooter to scooter. So what you're going to do is once you get this disconnected, you're going to pull this out, which gives you a lot of room to play with, and then you're going to angle this down, and you're going to pull until you see this pop out the opposite side shape might take you a little minute there we go throttle has been disconnected next we're going to disconnect the enricher which is right here that's this wire coming off the carb so this is the enricher we'll disconnect the enricher okay we'll get that out of the way if i can there's the enricher and now as long as you don't have any vacuum drive leaks you can just unplug your main fuel line easily just grab it uh, give a pull and it will not keep leaking because it's a vacuum driven system there's a petcock fuel system up top here that won't allow it to keep leaking unless there's compression being pulled through it so you don't have to worry about leaks and that's uh that's pretty much it guys now we're just going to pop it on off of there so we'll start with the air filter air filters off now we're going to grab this this might take a little bit of work there we go. And this just pops right on out of there. Okay, easy enough, right? That was fairly simple. So I'm gonna keep this one for parts. Go ahead and put that one aside. And we will disconnect this fuel line here. This is actually gonna leak once I disconnect this, but it's all right. I'm gonna put my finger over it just so I don't leak a bunch of gas. And Go ahead and set this aside. Grab that clamp. All right, so now I got two new clamps here. So we're gonna be doing, set these clamps down real fast. So now we're just gonna reverse the order of everything that we did. Pretty simple, All right? 
So, if you're curious about what size carb your engine takes, it's really simple. On the side of your engine, on the uh, left side, if you're staring at the rear, on the left side of the engine over here, down at the bottom of the motor, there's actually a engine number. This is probably a uh, 139 QMB is what this one would be, so I would look up carbs for a 139 QMB. Try to match the carb that's coming off with the one you're putting on. So the first thing we're gonna do is give a little push. We'll put the intake on there first. Make sure that's popped in all the way. There we go. Sometimes these can be a bit of a struggle. And then we'll straighten our clamp out so we have access to it. We'll go ahead and push the back on next. There we go. Air box has been put back on. All right, come on out of there. Now, I'm gonna have to pop that off and straighten this out. There we go. Gotta get this up high enough that I can work with it. Okay, so all that's done. So now we're going to put the drain off down below. This is the float drain. That's on the bottom of the carb. We're gonna push that down there. And now we're gonna take the fuel line, all right, right here. We're going to attach that to our new fuel filter right here. Push that on there. There we go. So now the new fuel filter is attached. And all we have left to do is to put the throttle on. If you guys remember, I said it's easier to put this on when it's off. So what I'm going to do is open up the butterfly. We'll reach down here. We're going to push that right into its little slot there. You're gonna have to arc it sideways a bit. There we go, now that that's on there, I can move the nut forward, I can drop that there, and now I can tighten this piece up. Right there, now we'll check it with the throttle. Beautiful, throttle's working great. And now all we have to do is tighten the screws and then reconnect the enricher valve. So, tighten this up first. There we go. That's perfect. And now we'll do the rear. I'm gonna put my finger underneath this. Sorry if my hand's in the way, guys. There we go. So now the carb is completely installed. Everything's ready to go except for the enricher valve, which we're gonna take underneath here. We're gonna move that over to this side, underneath all that stuff, and then we're gonna plug in the enricher. And that should do it. That is how you install a new carburetor on a 50cc. Most of these are jetted properly, so make sure all of our wires are out of the way, and then when we're done, you can go back through and tighten this as you see fit. Make sure there's a little slack on it. You always want to have a little slack. Not too much, but a little bit of slack. If you have to adjust this, you can. For right now, we're just going to start this up and see how it runs. So, I'm going to pop you guys off of here. I've got you held down with my octopus clamp. Get that off there. Okay. So, let me move this tool down here. Pull the key out. Should be able to just put the key in. This is going to have to turn over a couple times because we got to get fuel into the new carburetor. So I'm going to hold the brake and we'll see how this does. There she goes. There she goes. I'm gonna have to adjust the idle as necessary. I've got my screwdriver ready in case the idle's down too much. You have to wait for the enrichment to come off. Once the enrichment comes off, then you'll start figuring out how much you're gonna have to turn the idle up. And it might be up too much right now. That could be a big part of the problem. But, so this has tons of fuel in it, which is perfect. I'm gonna give this a sec. See if it idles down on, on its own. Okay, so that was the enricher. The enricher came off for a sec. There we go, it just idled down. 
it might be set perfect. It's actually running a little bit low. I'm just going to turn it up a tad bit. A little bit more. So that's a bit much. We'll take a little bit out of that. Give it a second. Twist it down a little bit more. A little bit more. That's perfect. Perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install a new carburetor.